you know the main topic that is going on is asymmetry we talked about asymmetry in parenting we talked about asymmetry in individual choices for example of dress and hairstyles and now this time we will see asymmetry in names and public behavior we see if a girl behaves like a boy in public fights or shouts people disapprove it dislike it and they say it is unladylike it is not nice it is not good in the west in western culture brave girls are praised they are appreciated they like it and they called such girls tomboy in islamic history we see many brave women so this is not specific only to western culture even islamic culture likes it but the difference is in western culture they disapprove it and in islamic culture the bravery of women is liked in many cultures this is another point about asymmetry in many cultures it is not appreciated if men cry if they weep i still remember an event when a president of pakistan died in air crash and the newscaster who was casting the news he was weeping at that time and what happened soon after that the person was dismissed from service this task will further clarify what i mean by asymmetry browse some good book on islamic history especially with reference to islamic culture because we are mostly unaware of islamic culture so that's why i am referring you to islamic history select a woman who was bold and turned history with her achievements write a biographical essay a life a, an essay that is about life achievements etc on her add historic photograph if available or image i know one such woman just for a hint so that you can find out such women i know that uh, the aunt of the parental aunt of the prophet of islam hazrat safiya how she took part in the battle of groups or in the battle of ahzab another task is uh that we would do after the second point but let's first make some uh, ground for that task if a boy so first we talked about an uh, unexpected behavior of girls and women and now we talk about unexpected behavior of boys if a boy behaves like girls in the western culture he is called sissy in a disapproved way in pakistan too this behavior is discouraged disliked if we see this was about public behavior now we come to naming that is second part of this module girls can be given male names such as in the same shamim and so many other names are common for both boys and girls but boys can't be given names like abira or nasima etc so public naming too indicates an asymmetry a view of gender now the task about this point give a few expressions i mean language expressions phrases or idioms used by males to show that they are not females and this often happens also write the context 
in which such expressions are used. When people fight, when people argue, whether they are politicians, whether they are common people, so you will also tell us the context in which people use such language. For example, humne churiya nahi pehni hui. Mard ho to mard ban ke dikhao, etc., etc. So these language expressions also tell us about how culture thinks about uh, males and females and their public behavior. Society also requires, continuing the same point, society and culture. See, culture is internal part of society, abstract part of society. And society is physical part of culture. So that's why in our discussions, we'll be using these terms interchangeably as similar terms. Sometimes I would use the term culture, sometimes society. Society also requires that girls to be good in cooking, sewing, decoration, skills, etc. If boys do such things, so people don't appreciate them, don't like them. And, they, and even they say, that's not fair. Girls should join. Now, what is expected of girls? They should join teaching and nursing, but not driving and performance art. They can't work on theatres, etc., for example. If they do, people would say, that's not fair. This attitude does not only construct gender, our views about gender, our thinking about gender, but also a concept of fairness. A new definition of fairness comes. Actually, this is quite fair. But what looks quite fair, for example, we can support our parents in kitchen. But this fair thing is, this appreciable thing is being called, that's not fair. So, we further relate it with our own experiences and observations in our life through this task. Have you seen crossovers in gender domains in media? Domestic duties, professions, dressing, ways of talking, etc. Crossover means they can adopt each other's profession, each other's role, each other's dress, etc. Talk to such people and write a report on it. This task would clarify what we have discussed about naming and public behavior that promotes asymmetric or endocentric view of gender.